The state requires that anyone seeking public office turn over campaign contribution reports. But it turns out not all candidates in Cameron County are doing that. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez is in our Cameron County newsroom with more. In an effort to keep things fair and transparent, the Texas Ethics Commission requires this of all candidates. Early voting starts tomorrow and still some candidates have yet to reveal who is funding their campaigns. This is the list tracking which candidates have turned in their reports detailing who has given money for their campaign. Elections Administrator Remy Garza tells us the Texas Ethics Commission requires that those seeking public office disclose those contributions. The transparency in our election process is what is at stake here. Just one day from the start of early voting and two weeks past the February 5th deadline, when candidates seeking public office has yet to turn in their report, another just turned it in hours ago. We also found that many other candidates turned in their reports late. It doesn't sit well with Cameron County voters. Porque hay que saber qué se hace con las entradas y todo eso. Así como tenemos que pagar las taxas a buen tiempo. No, que es bueno que cumplan con la ley porque así se evita la corrupción en un futuro. ¿verdad? Es que es algo muy delicado la corrupción. Some voters say it's not a major area of concern. I mean, as long as they, they campaign honestly and you know with uh, integrity, that's what I care more about. I mean, I don't care about where the money, and if, if they, a lot of times, a lot of times they put it themselves. Garza tells us his office can only receive and record the campaign finance reports. It has no authority to penalize any candidates for not turning one in or for turning it in past the deadline. He says that's a job for the Texas Ethics Commission. They could determine that the reason why the filing was late was because the candidate was either trying to hide something or they didn't want, that they weren't complying, you know, for, for reasons that weren't, you know, just a simple oversight. Um, so that they are the ones that determine what the impact of the either missing the deadline or ignoring the filing. Garza says it's also up to the public, not his office, to report candidates who aren't following these rules. All the candidates will remain on the ballot for the March 6 primaries, Garza adds, but the Texas Ethics Commission could find those candidates if they decide to pursue the issue. We reached out to the Texas Ethics Commission to find out when they last decided to punish a candidate. Their offices were closed due to the holiday. We'll reach out to them again tomorrow. For now, live from the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.